Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnit, speaking to Yasmin Albustami about NCIS Hawaii on CBS and on Paramount Plus. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, PD Beats. I appreciate you having me. I mean, you know, Lucy is a fan favorite, but I feel like there's going to be kind of situations where you get really quaint with this character, but or it's maybe you're always kind of learning about this character. When did you kind of think that you kind of had like an understanding or grasp of playing this character? Or are you oh, still yeah. learning about it? I'm still learning. Okay. I'm still learning which I prefer just because I want to make sure that I'm growing with her. Like all of us, you know, we all grow, we're all learning. We all are put into situations where we feel like we have to navigate that maybe we've never been through a certain situation before. And so I, I enjoy those things. So I never want to feel like I have a good grasp. I always want to feel like I'm still trying to reach for something. When are you? When do you start kind of thinking about the audience member that watches shows like NCIS Hawaii? Because obviously, when you're filming it, you're obviously in the zone, or maybe you're thinking about it. But it's so cool. I feel like from being a storyteller like yourself, really kind of visualizing the audience as a detective watching the show. You know what I mean? I find that yeah. the coolest thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's so. It didn't. I guess it never really hit me until people started getting really into Casey. Hashtag Casey. Me, Lucy, and Kate. Mm -hmm. Um, and so once, once that hit, all of a sudden I was like, oh, people are watching. <laughs> so, so let's just make sure, you know, but you don't want it ever to affect too much. You know, you also want it to be like, you don't want to do things. You, you want to make sure that you're respecting the writing, you're respecting the directing, you're respecting your other co-workers, everyone involved. Um, yeah. But you also want to make the audience happy. And, you know, they're all doing, they're all playing their part in making sure that the audience is happy. Man, have they listened to the audience, though, in terms of direction with, they followed it. Like, they they responded, people responded to Casey, they followed that route. And so it wasn't until that, which was just like such a jolt, all of a sudden people were just coming at you and just like, oh my gosh, Casey, that now I start thinking about, oh, people like, oh, I think Casey fans really love this. Oh, the NCIS yeah. Hawaii fans, they 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 love they love they love it and they're so quick and you know episode drops and they're online like 50, and 20 minutes. Great montages. <laughs> There's like music videos yeah. that's attached to all these little scenes. And then the stuff, it's they're such a creative bunch. Like people will show whatever things that they that they put together. Sometimes just like some hilarious things. I think one of my favorite ones was someone created to the to the theme of Friends, you know that show Friends. Yes, uh, the multi I think I've seen that actually. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny with all of our characters introducing all of us. It's hilarious. It's amazing. No, the the edits and yeah, no, it's 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 amazing. It's sometimes oh, like yeah. on, on pop alternative too. Like there's so many like shows and movies that people do edits and they're like tag us because we interview that person. So they're yeah. like check out this edit. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Which is awesome. Um. You look at NCIS Hawaii, you look at the originals, you look at The Chosen. Is it all storytelling to you or does the mindset change depending on kind of the genre you work in specifically? Oh, it's all storytelling. Yeah, yeah thankfully, all uh, all the things that you've mentioned, all the things that I've worked on, they've had, you know, some more than others, but they've had a through line. There's a yeah. reason. And then there are those ones where, you know, I just pop in, I have to just stay in my line and then that's it. And there are, you don't really have a backstory, whatever. But the ones at least that you mentioned where I am there for if I'm recurring, if I'm a regular, um, man, there it's I've been very grateful to have something to play with. I feel like it's cool, too, because there's like there's differences with the shows a little bit, obviously, but there's like differences with the characters as well. So I think it's kind of twofold, right? Where you get oh, to be yeah. in like these different shows, but play like completely different characters, yeah. especially your character in the originals, right? <laughs> Compared oh to my this. gosh. <laughs> I call her, you know what I call her? I call her the bitch witch. She was nice. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, she was like, yeah. Man, I, it's so funny. I, I will like from time to time, especially Rochelle, I will interview people like from that show because I love the originals. It's so good. And everyone is so awesome. Everyone's yeah. so awesome in it. And they're so nice. Is it cool to also, it's funny because you look at that and you look at other shows like Vampire Diaries as well that have like, there was a big boom with that kind of genre of stuff, right? 
But you yeah. were part of that like before the boom. Like there's the Twilight boom and everything, but then the TV show Vampire Boom with like the originals, the Vampire. Like, is it cool to think about that? That you like the cast of that was almost like it was before his time a little bit. Like it's like Honestly, now now when you bring that up, yeah, that's super cool to think about that. I have <laughs> never thought about that. So that's kind of awesome. You know where I'm coming from though, right? Your shows yeah. were out a little bit more. There was like, during the pandemic, vampire culture was so huge and yeah. everywhere and everything. And it was like, you got the originals to go watch. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's so funny. It always comes alive again in certain moments, in certain spurts. So sometimes people will forget about it. And then all of a sudden people are like, are you on that show? I'm watching it now. I'm like, oh, all oh, it's it's coming up again. It's coming alive again. And, you know, you look at NCIS Hawaii and you look at even NCIS Los Angeles. One of my favorite things about this is every episode, like, there is this balance of kind of the drama and the arc of the characters and, of course, the cases and the action and everything. Some episodes have more, like, more, like, really, like relationship stuff and drama. Others have more action and focus on the cases. It's a mix and everything. What's it like reading a script for a new episode? Is it kind of almost like a kid in a candy shop a little bit? Being like, oh man, like we get to do this this season, this episode? Like, what is that like? There's so much. You know, my favorite script so far to read, I mean, like there, there's obviously, there's so many, but it's been, it's been the ones where all of our characters have to converge to solve a problem. Um, especially when it's a two-parter, it's a two-fold. So it's like part one, part two, split into two episodes, mm -hmm. uh, just because there's more time to breathe in terms of telling the story. There's more time to insert a bunch of those actions, a bunch of those emotional stuff, um, have people be in turmoil for longer. So that's, that's always fun. But yeah, anytime that there's just like one mystery to solve, then those, those are the ones that I'm just like, I, I really grasp onto. You know what's really funny too is I always like talk about how there's two different types of shows. There's like the shows for the passive audience members and the active audience members. So like passive would be like you come home from late night at work, you put the office on and you just relax type thing. You can have yeah, your phone and everything. Real. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then you have a lot of the shows that aren't like that. I feel like your show kind of ruined my argument for that because I feel like it's a little bit of both. You know what is I mean? Is it for you? I don't nice. know. I feel like, like sometimes I'll be like, yeah, I, it's it's a deceiving action. No, I think it's more, I think it's like, I think it's pretending to be one of those passive shows. But if you don't pay attention, you'll miss something really important that happens. So yeah. I feel like, you know, you know what I mean? It's one of those. Like, yeah. <laughs> You have, you have to pay attention. Why? Because if you tried putting it in the background... Well, no, and then, like, that's like, one of those. At, at night, for sure. Even with, like, CSI and everything, right? Those are criminal oh, yeah. lines. Those shows, See? you know what I mean? You put them in the background. It's nice to have in the background. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, but then you miss a lot of things, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then you can catch up. You can catch up on them. It's a hybrid. Exactly. You're on a hybrid show for the audience. Yeah. We just have to, we just have to, um, you just have to respect yeah. that, I guess. Because if you miss something, one of us is going to reference it later. And we're going to say something of like, remember that thing? And is then it, it all comes is it, the What is your favorite thing about being part of NCIS Hawaii? Like, is it kind of, like, is there one kind of element about it? I mean. Yeah. It's what? the people. I knew you were going to say that. No, listen, I, I agree. No, everyone says that and it's awesome. But like, yeah. you know, but like literally every time, sometimes I'm every retired that question, question because I say, one time I even said like, what's your favorite thing about being part of the show? And like, I understand it's the people, but like, can you not say the people? And then they're like, sure. the people. Gotcha. Yeah. And I tell you, know what? Stunned. It is the people though. A hundred percent. It is the people. Yeah. But even with sets, like my other answer would be stunts, but even with stunts, it's only because the stunt guys are cool. You know? Yes. So it's like the stunt people are cool. The, the double, the stunt doubles are awesome. I've learned so much from them. They're all patient. So it always comes down to anything that we do is exciting. But then it's only exciting because of the people. Getting back to kind of how I started the interview about like the understanding and the kind of being comfortable with this character, Lucy. Um, is there a quality of this character that you really, really kind of enjoy that you're that we're seeing in more episodes now that maybe we didn't in the beginning specifically? That we're seeing more. Oh, yes. I think for me, it would be more of the emotional, yeah. loving, caring side, just because I feel like Lucy wasn't able to really show that to the most that she wanted to, that was just like in her little body that she just wanted to show Kate, uh, because, of, you know, she's trying to respect Kate, but now that Kate is blossoming and blooming, 
um, she and is feeling more more receptive and open to just outwardly expressing their love. I feel like just Lucy just melts into that. So it's really nice to just see her being in that without having to worry about other people and just wanting to love someone just to love them. It's really awesome too with like kind of the new age of streaming and everything. I mean, people can watch it on CBS, but it's really cool. The episodes also stream also on Paramount Plus and everything. Mm -hmm. We talked about kind of the originals and that show was kind of on... I feel like a little bit before the big kind of streaming boom and everything. What's yeah. it like being a storyteller and actor with kind of this? Because you're on a show on cable TV, but you're also on a show now that like people could stream it as well, which is really cool. Yeah. I mean, so far, all the shows right now that I can think of that I'm that that you've mentioned, and even The Chosen yep. is on also like it's on its own app and mm -hmm. Netflix. Um well oh, the chosen comes up a, the chosen comes up a lot on Facebook. It does. does There's it? clips. Oh, it does a lot. And Man, <laughs> they will pop up. They pop up where you don't even expect them. I was watching football one time, like just like American football, and a commercial popped up and I was like, look at y'all. It's the chosen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, there we go. Um, it's it's so cool. Obviously, like yeah. to be able, it's so easy to like anything where because we do this to entertain people. And so if we can create more more avenues of access where people can watch, then awesome. Because maybe not everybody has cable, but everybody has streamers. So it, there you that, go. And that that was kind of the base of my question. There's kind of the more yeah. opportunities and everything. Fair. Um, yes. I think there's this kind of really exciting thing about storytelling these days where stories that like weren't told before are finally getting told. Do you agree with mm -hmm. me that that's a, one of the best things about being a storyteller these days that you're able to kind of work on these stories that weren't necessarily told before Yasmin? Yeah. Yeah. And I absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that I'm on shows right now that are doing that yeah. and in a creative way, not in a way that was done before exactly like what you said in in um, not just, a, a, yes, a creative way, but it also feels very collaborative. It's such a collaborative team effort too. Absolutely. Is it also cool to be part of a show like NCIS Hawaii that has the kind of traditional week after week episodes where people can have that kind of dinner party, dinner table conversations yeah. about episodes and everything? Because the binge, I love them both. I think there's a place for sure. both. But sure. the week to week is cool. Because there's something about yeah. waiting. Yeah. There is something about waiting because like, I don't know, it's so different now, you know, it's such a niche now. I feel like it doesn't happen that much. People just kind of like put all of their episodes out there. So whenever you see one of those shows where it's like, we have to wait every week, mm -hmm. there's something about it. That's just, it feels kind of old school. And I and like it. it's worth it. the wait with NCIS Hawaii episodes on CBS, Aww. as well as Paramount Plus. Yeah, it's been so great chatting with you. Thank you for joining me you on Pop Alternative. Oh, hell yeah. It was so nice getting to know you and chat with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any plug specifically? Like they, like we said, like they could watch, they could they could catch the um, on NCS Hawaii on CBS Paramount Plus is the chosen. Any any social media is the plug? Anything you want to plug specifically? Oh, I mean, all my socials are Yaz Y A S Albastami. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry if I don't if I don't post because I don't. Uh, but they're there. They're, they're all there. there. They 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 exist. They exist, and maybe one day I will come back. Sometimes I get on there and like I'll say hi to people, but it's very sporadic. Well, it's like a big kind of Lucy episode. Everyone's gonna go and be like, "Oh my god, what's happening on Instagram?" You know what I mean? Like I'm just. <laughs> no, no. Oh, she's she's still doing her thing back in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, this has been Pop Turn if you did talk offside Pop Turn of previous episodes. Till next time, this is Yasmin Abustami who plays Lucy in NCIS Hawaii on CBS and Paramount Plus and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.